Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. My name is Mitchell and I'm here with Tommy and Steven. And a few months ago, we did a video titled Recreating Photography TikToks. And you guys really seem to enjoy that one. So today, we're gonna be doing it again. We found three more photography TikToks that we wanna try out and I think they're gonna be pretty interesting. The first TikTok we're gonna be trying today is the book one, that is why we are at this location in the alleyway and it is currently raining at the moment and that's why I have an umbrella but we're just gonna kind of wait for the rain get set up and then get started so the way that this photo works is you grab your camera and bring it to the shallowest depth of field that it has we then grab a book bring it up to the lens like this and create sort of like a, a V trough with the book and then the piece de resistance of the entire photo are these little letters and numbers. So this is basically dry alphabet pasta that we found at the grocery store that we spray painted black. And if you look at it, it looks like little, there's numbers and letters from a book. Um, so it would be perfect for having like the letters jumping out of the pages. Next, we've also got a, a piece of a like book here, a page from a book that we're gonna wrap around the lens like this and create sort of a vignette effect that really draws the attention into the center of the photo. Wow, this is kind of painful. I like that, Mitch. Is this good where I am? Just hold the book like that. I'm gonna crunch down a little bit now. How, how far can you go with your splits? <laughs> <laughs> you going? That's that's about it, right there. Okay, let's do that. There. Oh, that's painful. <laughs> okay, hold it like that. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, that, that looks kind of stupid. Oh, oh, oh that's uh, sick. Okay. okay, okay. That's. I think if I back the if, book up a bit. If you were further back too, like your bot. Yeah. yeah. That, looks that looks cool good. though. It's working. Three, two, one. <laughs> Making a mess. <laughs> there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Wow. You can see the letters too. Oh, sh uh, I mean, it's looking I really, mean, really good. <laughs> it's so good. Any changes? Oh, that's solid. No, I don't think so. I think we're just going to do it again. I think I just need to have even a wider spread of oh, letters. Yes. Bring you on up. High, high, up in my rocket. I just want to fly high, high, with the windows down. Wow. Yeah, no, I think we got it. That's I think it. We got it. You can see all the letters up there too. That's sick. Yeah, there we go. Huh. This is way easier than I thought it was gonna be. I'm gonna be honest. Was... Surprisingly straightforward. Okay, so we just finished up our first TikTok. I think it came out really, really well. A lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. We also happened to make a huge mess with all these letters on the ground. Don't worry, we're gonna clean them up. And also it's pasta, it's biodegradable. I think for the next TikTok, we're moving to a, an indoor location, which will be nice because it's starting to rain a little harder. And we'll see you guys there. Okay, so we have arrived at our second location here. This one, we're gonna be doing the one with the bubble. It looks like an apple wallpaper. It looks really cool. I'm a little, I'm the most skeptical of this one just because I don't know how well it's gonna work. We have a 100 mil macro set up here. We've got a coffee cup here that we're gonna put some dish soap and some water, blow a bubble into, and you will get the bubble like that. We've got a darker wall in behind us here to give us that nice contrast. I think that's pretty much everything that we're gonna need for this one. So let's just get started and see what we get. First things first, there's not much to it. All you have to do is make a bubble. So I've got some soap here. I'm gonna put it in the top of this coffee cup. We got bartender Mitch here with his three soaps. <laughs> three soaps, we're gonna tr be trying um, just a different mixture of them all. Is that double on the rocks? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> oh, you want that tall? My bad. There's a lot of soap on there. <laughs> now it's just, now just like sludge. Oops. This soap is not good. That's a nice cheap rye right there. We need to <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Okay, so this is attempt like number 3000. We've been doing this for like the last half an hour, just trying to do different like combinations of things and nothing's been working. So I rewatched the TikTok and read the comments and apparently people were saying, if you put corn syrup in the water and the soapy mixture, it'll make it so you can actually see the texture better. Now we didn't have any corn syrup, so we went to the neighbors across the street and they happened to have a homemade, like this isn't miracle bubbles, it's homemade bubble solution with corn syrup already in it. They also gave us some actual corn syrup so we can try that as well. 
Oh yeah, that's a huge bubble. Oh, wait, hold on. oh you can see all the gelatin. No, 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 I can increase the shutter speed. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Look at that. It looks so good. Oh shh. We are nailing it. <laughs> that looks insane. You need a bigger bubble. And the thing about adding corn syrup to your solution is that it makes it so the bubble doesn't pop as quick. It keeps the bubble intact longer so you can actually get a bigger bubble. And we've also found that if you keep blowing it, it keeps mixing it and you get that nice swirling. Bigger. Stop. You can see the texture the best in the actual reflection of the light. So having it from on top makes it really nice. I think we insane. We got them. Like these are just. We like are lit competing with Apple at this point. <laughs> like these are crazy. <laughs> Okay, so I think we just wrapped here with the bubbles. This is probably the one that I was the most skeptical about because I just didn't think we would be able to get the textures in the bubble. But thankfully, corn syrup is our friend and came in clutch here. I think the next thing is we're going to move on to our next location and get some long exposure photos. Okay, so we've arrived at our next location. It involves a drill, some sparklers, and a little bit of long exposure. So let's get to work. Okay, so for our third and final TikTok for this video, we're gonna be recreating this one right here by Jordi Kowalitik. It's a pretty clever concept. I never really thought of doing anything like that with a sparkler and a drill, but the way it works is you stick a sparkler in your drill, you bend it a bit so that when you spin it, you get this nice spiral effect, and then you hold it up to your subject, you light it, and you slowly pull back with a long exposure of about four seconds. So I'm kind of interested to see what it's gonna turn out like. I've never done this before, so let's go. Okay, so we've got the drill set up with the sparkler in it. We've got the lighter here ready to light the sparkler. Color. And uh, Steven here holding the camera. He's our subject. We got the tripod with the other camera here taking the photo And he's just gonna hold up like that. I'm gonna go kind of just back out like that and we'll see what happens This is our first attempt of probably many Here we go. Okay, start it ready. Yep. Three two one and two seconds and <laughs> Wait, we can probably do another one. Yeah, do another one. Oh, yeah. Oh, sh okay. do, do slower slower. Okay. Yeah, yeah, ready? Three, two, one. Oh, damn! <laughs> damn! It's gonna work! It's actually gonna work! Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Ready? Okay, ready? And. Ready? Yeah. Okay, two seconds. One. Go. Oh, I think that was a good one. Oh, hoo! Okay, okay, I see you. Go. Okay, so just because we've been nailing them with the one sparkler, we decided to upgrade to two sparklers. So I kind of twisted them together and made one big sparkler so we can get maybe a bigger flame and maybe a better photo. We will see. But the trick is gonna be lighting them both at the same time, because I could see that being a little tricky. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. The photos turned out surprisingly well. If you wanna go out and try this for yourself, then definitely go and do it. It's a lot of fun. Just find your favorite TikToks and try to get as close as you can to them. If you try it, make sure you tag us on Instagram at tmsproductions underscore. We'd love to see it. And I think that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you go down, like, subscribe, comment, do all that stuff. It really helps us out. And we'll see you guys next week. <laughs>
Okay, so the next look. Ah, frick, I forgot what I was gonna say. Okay, back it up.